Welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you, and I hope this video is for you, especially if you own or lease solar panels. And if you don't, eh, check me out anyway, because I'm going to give you a tip on how to ensure that your solar panels are working as top efficiently as possible. So let me give you a backstory. It was time for me to get a new roof, and the solar company team came out, took my solar panels down, all 27 of them. The new roof was placed on my house, and then the solar panels were put back on the backside of my roof. No problems, right? Right. So about three days later, I saw the tech from the solar panel company park his car right in front of my house. He proceeded to go on the roof. He came back down, and in a few minutes, he left. So I thought that he was just making a simple safety check to make sure all of the solar panels was working. I don't know what he was doing. I just thought he was doing a little inspection. Well, three days later, that same tech came back. He went back up on the roof, and about 10 minutes later, he came down on the roof. And this time, I met him at the foot of the ladder, and I asked him, is there a problem going on with my solar panels? And he said, there is a couple of problems going on with my solar panel uh, panels. And this is what he told me. One, the team who took off my solar panels and reinstalled the solar panels did not put them in order. Two, Four of the 27 solar panels in the in-phase stage is not working properly, so they're not producing at its fullest capability. And three, he's going to have to get a co-worker to come back down to assist him to take all the solar panels down and put the solar panels back in the right order. So I was surprised. I thought it was working quite fine because, A, I was checking my app, and B, I would go to the solar panels webpage to make sure that I was producing power, but... What do I know? I'm not really a techie guy. So I'm going to allow this young man who took out out of his busy, busy schedule to talk to me and to you about the best way to check if your solar panels are producing energy correctly. Thank you for watching and enjoy. All right. So just give me your first name, Marcus. All right. So. This man's with Vivint, and what I was telling him is just, I really appreciate you guys coming out to uh, do a follow-up on my solar panels because I didn't know my solar panels, some of my arrays were not producing effectively. Right. And because you guys were on it, y'all guys came out and said, hey, your solar panels have been put back on your roof somewhat out of order, so now you have to take them down, put them back in order, and fix the ones that are not producing. My question is, how would one protect themselves from knowing that your solar panels are functioning or are not functioning what's a good tip for these people to know so this is an in-phase system if you go to your envoy box and you open the box and there's a red light mm -hmm. where the little thunder tick is that means one or more of your panels aren't producing now how would do we get a key to that i mean my stuff is uh, kind of locked opens. up or it's just like opens. two latches and okay. it should just open easy. okay all right all right there's also a customer app where you can see the production of each panel. Mm -hmm. So if you see a, a gray or a blacked out panel, mm -hmm. that means it's not producing. Okay. And so call the company, they'll come out, they'll make an assessment, fix your panel, T typically free, I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's free. <laughs> okay. Sunrise is actually working on a process that picks out all the houses that have non-producing panels mm -hmm. and it puts them in a queue mm -hmm. and then they just get dispersed to different techs. I see. Now, can you show me this in-phase thing real quick? Do you have time for that? Yeah, sure. Okay. communication mm -hmm. comes from this box this red light okay means that one or more panels aren't producing oh <laughs> okay and that's a good tip to know that if it's not if it's red yep. you need to call if it's not red what does it show green yeah all four should be all green. four should be green <clears throat> okay wow that's that's a good tip my man i know you're going to help a lot of people out okay. <laughs> <laughs> by doing that. Now, how often should you check that? Um, Once every year. So I have my solar panels a on a storm. After a storm, really? Yeah. Yeah. Is it that frequent that something may go happen, go wrong when it's raining hard? No, like an electrical storm, oh, or, electrical storm. Uh, like a thunderstorm. Ah. I, would I would definitely check. Okay, so here's the last thing I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. We did have, we did lose power last year. Oh, okay. 
but my whole neighborhood was dark and I had the brightest house literally right here. So that might have happened when that storm passed. I don't know. Wow. All right. Thanks a lot, my man. I know you got yeah, stuff to do. No I appreciate problem, you. Man. No problem. All right. Thanks again.